Welcome back to Fan Configuration. I'm Erisy. And I'm Eloise. And today, dun dun dun, <laughs> well, this is big news. We have some hot toys to review for you. Yay! <laughs> if you don't know what hot toys are, it hot toys is a company that's based in Hong Kong and they design photo accurate figures of like superheroes and people from movies so like actual real yeah, people. Yeah, um, recently it's been a lot of like Marvel and DC characters yeah. together but they've also done a lot of Star Wars stuff because yeah, of all the sorts Force of, Awakens coming out. Yeah, and, all sorts of movies and like pop culture stuff so. Definitely. In particular we have Wanda Maximoff and Pietro Maximoff from Avengers Age of Ultron. Whoop, whoop, whoop. These are the boxes. You can see that they kind of have like similar designs going on, but we got the red and pinks for Wanda. Yep, and he's got the green and blues going across for Quicksilver. So this is the front. We got a picture of the actress and the actor who mm -hmm. played them. On the sides, we just kind of got their names written. Their names here, and there's also like their symbols yeah, they're on like, the other side. And then kind of just like all the people who sculpted it and worked on it. Yep, and the back end, it's got a little bit of a texture across the A. There's like a some lines across it and it's a really nice sturdy box but it's not too complicated to open by yeah means. it has just like a slip cover yeah and then you'll be able to see the figure underneath but we already got them out of yeah the box. we took them out of the box already because we have actually owned these for several months now they came out uh i think pietro was finally shipped in march yeah I and i say. think she came in february yeah originally of course you know the, the thing with hot toys when you order them if you pre-order them, it'll give you a period of time that they should be shipped in. Usually like a two month period, mm -hmm. two to three month period. And Pietro, when I bought him, he was released um, for pre-order before Wanda was. Mm -hmm. And uh, it said between January and March, and he almost didn't get here till the very end of almost April. Yeah, like, but anyway, as I was saying, we ordered these off SideshowCollectibles.com, which is one of the only licensed American websites that mm -hmm. actually sells hot toys, and I'm pretty sure it ships worldwide, if I recall. I got um, Wanda for pre-order at around $220, which is about average for a hot toy with her amount of accessories. Pietro on pre-order was, I think, 210 because he only has a few changes of hands instead of like all the extra stuff and obviously the price will be driven up depending on how much you're getting with them like and how big these um on the average are they're like one six scale yeah. figures so they're pretty big so you get a lot of bang for your buck as an example um i've also pre-ordered the captain america um civil war figure yeah. coming out and he was almost 250 but he also comes with like a different face he comes with yeah. a shield he has a bunch of different hands and all sorts of other accessories so really you're just paying for the extra stuff you can get and thankfully i don't know about other uh, there's a few other websites that you can get mm -hmm. hot toys through i don't know about all of them but sideshow collectibles allows you to do a payment plan like we mentioned and you can pick to do it in like two payments three or four payments i usually go four because that's just how i can afford things <laughs> And, you know, it's really nice. I think they have an Amazon payment plan through it, too, which it, it just helps a lot. And these are expensive, and they understand that. <laughs> they are extremely expensive, and all I can say is don't rag on anyone that wants to get these because, you know what, it's your money. If you have enough, it's not going to hurt you. Yeah. Payment plans is what how I can do it. Then you should, you know, nothing's wrong with getting them. Yeah, I agree. So, yeah, we're yeah. going to open these up and show you how amazing they truly are. Because they are well worth every penny. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> All right, let's get to looking at these toys. Woo! Woo! we have Wanda Maximoff and as you can see <laughs> immediately it's amazing how realistic she looks like her likeness to Elizabeth Olsen who plays the character in the film is pretty impressive um, just looking up something amazing about Hot Toys is they always have this glossy sheen to their eyes which makes them seem watery and like they're real it kind of just looks like someone got zapped in a mini machine <laughs> and got shrunk down to this size it has everything from her like necklaces, which are like you can move, they're malleable, they're very real, to the underlace of her dress, to even just the cut of it, tiny little details. 
She has her red jacket, which has been hand stitched in the zipper detail. And then she has her little arm bands here. And these are just the couple of hands I have with her currently. She also has six extra hands. She has her resting hands. She has her hand that holds a heart, which is the heart of Ultron. If you've seen the movie, she rips it out like a badass. And then she just has some like zappy power hands like the one she has here. Her fingers, incredibly enough, are kind of translucent at the end to give you the appearance that they are powered up. She also on each individual hand has the little bit of details on her rings and her like bracelets, all completely accurate to the film. Um, her dress is just, it's above the knee, it's pretty short, and then she's got her socks that are rough material and her shoes, just pretty awesome. In the back we see her hair, which some people complain about um, some of the female characters' hair in Hot Toys because they always use kind of like the more realistic, not sculpted hair. Some people complain that it's kind of too much like a Barbie doll, but I think it actually looks really nice. Like it kind of gives it that realistic appeal. I think it it works really well here. I've seen it kind of look a little weird on some of the Black Widow ones, but this one it works really nicely. There's also just the dirt and kind of grime of the fadedness at the bottom of the jacket. It makes it look like she's been wearing it for a while and been battling some evil robots and all that jazz. And her base is kind of simple. Each base for the Age of Ultron characters has a different kind of little motif with the A. Hers has kind of got like her power, like zappy red A kind of detail. And then like on here we have a metal metallic kind of engraved thing that says Scarlet Witch to explain who she is. And the um, stand itself, it wraps around her waist and it doesn't really impede her movement too much. She can do all the cool poses. Wanda is a character that mostly uses her hands to fight, so we got all sorts of articulation to move her arms. They go out, bend here, bend here, even at her wrists, bend here. Her head doesn't go up too much, but it can go down pretty far, and then right and left. And her legs, again, they can bend pretty well. She's a little stiff because she's new, but as long as you're gentle, it shouldn't do too much. You just gotta be kind of careful with her arms especially because you don't want to wear down the jacket too much or rip it. But as long as you're kind of gentle with it, you can get her into some pretty interesting poses. Yeah, I mean, I think she's a gorgeous doll. She's got amazing detail and so does uh, the Quicksilver doll. And it's just, they're really nice to look at. You kind of covered everything there is to cover with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think she's incredible. Like, she has lots of points of articulation. You can really get her in all sorts of cool poses. And later we'll show you some pictures of them in some battle action yeah. modes. Because one of the also bonus things about Wanda, I forgot to mention, is that she comes with these pieces that are kind of like her power, um, her powers. They basically just rest on some of her hands, and it looks like she's got the energy force like coming out of her hands, and she's gonna like beat some ass. So it's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, and now we have the Pietro or Quicksilver hot toy. Um, as you can see, he's actually you know looks has a really really good likeness to Aaron Taylor Johnson, who you know is just. A pretty boy. <laughs> um, there's really nice detailing in his hair. He has sculpted hair whereas Scarlet Witch had like the real synthetic hair. And there's really really nice detailing in all of it. If you can see he doesn't fall off his sand. The back of his head has like a little bit of the fade. It doesn't show his roots as much as it did in the movie but I kind of like that it has a little more silvery gray touch all over versus just having like dark roots with silver tips, that was a little strange. Uh, but turning him back around here, uh, the one thing I'm going to point out right now is that his stand is different than Scarlet Witch's, which I actually had to ask Aracy when I got him, because she got Scarlet Witch first. I couldn't figure out how to get him on a stand because it didn't make sense to me. I was like, why doesn't this work? And that's because it's supposed to go between his legs, <laughs> whereas the girls typically have them around their waist. Um, all of the male hot toy figures that I've seen so far have a stand that goes up and like props them with their legs. Which is a little more tricky sometimes, they fall off a little more easily so you have to be careful about that. But that's why there's a difference and it is notable because you'll be confused like I was. <laughs> Alright, continuing on he's got a really awesomely detailed outfit. It's got like the ridging in the shirt and the silver accents and it's got the same texture that I think his shirt in the movie would have had, like it has that look. and. He's also got the glossy eyes, he's also got like the stubble, and if you move down to his pants, he's got this amazing stitch work throughout all of it, and all the different textures, like these are even little leather strips down the side where his uh, detailing goes, and the detail even in his shoes is like insane, because uh, it's got like the texture and patterning of the shoes he wears in the film, 
him. Let me just pick him up really carefully. If you look, even the bottom of his shoes have the texture of like real tennis shoes, which is just crazy. And the articulation in his feet and legs are amazing. His clothes restricted a little bit, but not too horribly. His foot can bend all over the place and his knee bends pretty well. And his hips are good. Now for the rest of him up here and his arms and his head, he does bend, just not nearly as much. His head's very stiff right now, so I'm kind of afraid to turn it because he's new, so. <laughs> um, he does look left and right. He doesn't really look up and down. His hands turn a little bit and his arms can, whoops, let me hold him down. His arms can bend pretty nicely for when he's running, but that's about as far as his articulation goes on the upper half. It's all in his legs because, you know, he's Quicksilver, he's all about running, and he's very fast. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see what else. He's even got like little pocket detailing on the back of his pants, which is really nice. And it's, it's just so much attention to detail, which I guess they, they have to, like that's their job. But to me, it's amazing that someone's able to shrink it down and you do, like put this amazing stitch work into it and create such a likeness to a movie character. It's craziness and a really, really good sign of how good they are at their craft. Yeah, seeing this in person, you kind of understand why it takes so long for it to ship and to be created because they really go the extra mile to make sure that everything's like hand painted on the face and like hand stitched the outfits. Like it is a work of art, like it's nothing less. That's why it yeah. costs as much. These are not like factory mass produced things. Like these really take a lot of time and yeah, effort. These are not like, you know, figures that you can collect that you'd get from just a regular store or maybe even a convention. They aren't mass produced. They're usually only made in small lots and depending on how many people pre-order them. Mm -hmm. And once the pre-order is over and you know, there's like a, a little period of time, a little window that you can actually buy them for full price. There's no payment plan once the pre-order is over. That's the other thing. Yeah, they, they sell out quickly then too. The, but the, once they're sold out, they're gone. Yeah. Like there's no coming back. our reviews of the Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver Hot Toys. We hope you enjoyed them in all of their glory. They're absolutely gorgeous and we can't recommend them or any other hot toy products alike. Like, they're really truly beautiful. There's kind of a large selection, especially if you're looking for mm -hmm. superhero stuff. They have almost every modern Marvel movie They've to date. They've done like even different outfits for different versions of different movies. Which I wish the clothes were changeable, but you cannot take them out of their clothes, so... Yeah, I mean, if you do, you're not getting the clothes back on. Yeah, it's You'd not You'd be ripping something, so... <laughs> yeah. will not suggest that. So, you know, take a look, and if you think you can pull it off and you really, really want one, I think it's worth the investment. Absolutely. I think that'll be it for today. We hope you join us again next time. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye! <laughs>